Hello everyone. It is that time again. The end of the month. That means uh Legfest and new characters. Um I think we're getting summer Vashra. Everyone seemed I don't remember I don't I didn't see specifically if that was like an announcement that they made, but everyone is talking about Summer Vajra as if that's a sure thing, so I'm assuming that was an announcement I missed it. Uh, maybe Summer Vikala as well, because they called a lot of attention to a new Summer outfit for her during this event. There's also a lot of other characters, aside from Zodiacs, that showed up in this event, so who knows? Let's just see what we get. Yep, yeah, there we are, Summer Vajra, who is dark. And then Summer Vikala, who is Earth. Okay, cool. Let us take a look at them. Um, first off, weapons. They've started to make Summer weapons pretty good. Remember Summer Kubira's weapon? It's pretty good in fire. Uh, Dark Katana. MC's charge bar on boost. C specs and <laughs> okay then that seems pretty good <laughs> glory and special CA cap um I'm gonna say Ogi isn't a huge thing in dark but it's def it's definitely there you know Ferio likes the Ogi a lot since she always double Ogies that this seems pretty good I'm not totally up to spec on the current dark meta I'm still thinking of like the you know the old uh, Summer Zoe Akasha setup so I'm not sure what the, the current go to is aside from skill damage of course with lich memes so that seems pretty that seems like a really good weapon I don't know whether it will see much use at the moment who can say the Kala's weapon how is multi attack rate on Ogi Big enmity, small attack and crit, and bonus echoes to third hits of triple attacks. That's so similar to the Hollow Sky Axe, I believe that is. Or is that supplemental on the third hit? I don't remember. There's something else that does that does this as well. That could that seems possibly decent. I mean it's it's only small crit, so maybe not. Um I don't know, hard to say. Especially now that the very tippy toppy of Earth meta has been shaken up by um, the Galleon staff. So, this seems possibly decent. You know, it's Earth, so we'll just wait for, you know, DJ Salt to do something with it. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's take a look at Summer Vajra, who is dark. So, our Ogi is massive dark damage to all, f to all foes. Vajra dodges all attacks from foes one time, raises paw sativity level by 1 max 5. Skill 1, dark damage to all foes, raise casters, positive level by 1. Boost to specs based on paw sativity level. Okay. So... I would assume this gets pretty decent at higher levels, since it doesn't seem to do anything else apart from raise it. Hit to a foe is debuff resistance stackable, hit to attack and defense stackable, so that's the same. Consumes one positive level, but it's zero turns. Interesting. I was going to say similar to her skill one on her normal version, except it doesn't do damage. But you could potentially spam this, depending on your, your positivity level. 100% boost to car caster's charge bar, boost to CA specs one time. Affects all allies when positivity level is five. So she's Ogi focused, which kind of goes hand in hand with that weapon that we just saw. Maximum charge bar limit of 200%, yep. Upon using charge attack twice in one turn, a double strike effect, <laughs> okay. Upon dodging, activate... Uh, wolf and seize clothing, that's this one, okay. So obviously the thing that you want to go for is... I was going to say this, but this has a pretty big cooldown. You could probably get this up pretty quickly. She raises, so it doesn't say anywhere in her support skills about this positivity thing, so presumably that means it starts at zero. Maybe one, I miss, maybe one, I'm assuming it starts at zero, so we get this up. Raised by one on Ogi, so 
want to, this all oh, activates on dodge, so we could probably get this up to five reasonably quickly. But otherwise, honestly, she doesn't seem that amazing. Like this is nice, like obviously spammable stackable attack and defense debuffs are nice, but that comes at the cost of being able to to get this. But like I said, this does have quite a large cooldown, so maybe I don't know. Maybe it, like maybe if if you're in a if you're using an, uh, specifically an Ogi based setup, you might be able to actually get these up fast enough to actually use this a few times and still be able to use this off cooldown. Hard to say. And um, like I said, I'm not huge on what what Ogi setups in Dark are like. Like I said, the only thing I can really think of is Ferio, because she has basically like permanent double uh, Ogi reactivation. But apart from that, like, I don't know. She, seem, she seems a little underwhelming first glance, but especially, but especially with that weapon, when if people get proper like Ogi setups for Dark sorted out, and figured out she could be pretty decent. Or maybe you do just want her for her weapon at some point in the future, but... But yeah, I'm not sure what to make of her, to be honest. But, you know, it is... Very cute, at least. Wait, 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 wait. Go back to, go back to that. I want to see this... <laughs> like, uh... Garge's little swimsuit there. Alright, let's take a look at... Vikala's second swimsuit outfit. So she already got one. So she's Earth, just in time for Guild War. Restore Earth allies HP, turn two turn cut to debuff durations, boost the multi-attack rate, a bonus earth damage effect, and activate Yintopian bounty. Okay, so she doesn't deal damage on her Ogi, so that suggests a more of a support oriented character. This seems very good. Obviously we don't have numbers for multi-attack rates. Or or what any of this is, but we'll find out. Earth that uh, echoes echoes on Ogies is nice. Yeah, we'll, we'll find out what this is all about. Earth allies dodge all attacks from foes through the power of stuffed rats. One time con mm, consumes 25% of casters and max hit. That's interesting. Dodge all to your entire team is pretty cool. But, mm, not so much of this. That's quite a long cooldown as well. 12 turns. 12 turns. Okay. <laughs> Other Earth allies attack. T so, okay, she just. She just. She's like Nan? Kind of? See a skilled effect to cast that. That's. Hmm. So maybe not a turn one, Nan, because you're probably going to want this up. First, you want her to OD first to get whatever this is. Oh no, never mind. I just realized that you, that's that is she does this on Ogi. Okay. Ha! Huh. Interesting. Right, let me see the let me get a full picture first. S switch it with a sub ally. When the car switches out with an earth ally, ally borrows borrows rat eared headband while the color is a sub ally. Sharp boost to the ally stats and hit to defense, so... Triple attack rate is boosted, doesn't say guaranteed. Maximum amount of damage, so damage cap. Chance to dodge damage and debuffs. Defense is lowered. So that's similar to um, Ray's Moksha. In fact, that might almost be fairly identical. The wording seems different, like... Ray's, Ray's one gives guaranteed triples. This just says triples are boosted. Maybe that does just mean boosted to 100%. Who, who knows, but um... <laughs> can't normal attack, okay, into hiding effect. This came up recently, and I looked up what it was, and I don't remember what it is. <laughs> I think it's a lot less hostility or something, I don't remember. Boost to Earth Allies, CA Specs. 10% boost to Earth Allies, char charge bars at the end of turn. I'm going to assume this is probably better than her R versions. Thing. Full force counter upon taking. What is that? Three hits. Okay. 
So is that a three hit counter? Or you can only counter three hits total when you take damage. I'm assuming the former. That is a three hit counter. Mmm, that's... this is weird. I mean, it's... yeah, she's like a mixture of... Nehan? Ray and... Yeah, Nehan and Ray mostly. And like, um... Her R version, so... I'm not sure... I'm... I'm... she seems pretty good. She seems like there's... if you can figure out the proper setup for her, so... Like, if you're using Summer Ilmot, you can... that means you can at Ogi... you can possibly Ogi turn one if you're using either just a main or a support Huang Long or... Tsuchinoko. But at the same time, you don't really want the Ogi if you're using Summer Ilmot, because you want to use her... Uh, what is it, her S2? To get the four turns of triples and, and echoes. So you just do that and then do this, but then you won't be able to get the extra echoes from Rogi, which would presumably stack with Summer Elmot because of it's a different source. Um, I don't know what to make of her. She she seems obviously burst oriented, like a, a support burst kind of character, like similar to Nehan, like she does similar sort of th things Nehan lets the other three people in your team get double strike. But then she also has like a bunch of CA stuff. And I... she seems like a weird mixture of, of different characters. Again, similar, similar to Vajra. I'm not really sure what to make of her. <laughs> she doesn't seem bad. Like the, this alone makes her very, very good. <laughs> like this is just—it's like they moved the, the um, this from Nehan's double strike thing, and just moved it onto another skill, and just made it so that your entire team gets. One instance of dodge all. That's, and the thing is, like, she wants the Ogi, presumably because, mostly because of this. I'm just like, I'm just thinking, like, obviously there'll be other setups. But my obviously my main that I'm kind of figuring out first is with Summer Ilmot because of her S two. I don't know. I'm just trying to figure stuff out in my head because, like, you could. Ogi this, this activates this on Ogi. Which gives you double strike the next turn. And then you can activate this again the turn afterwards. And get another turn of double strike. Obviously that first, you need to spend charge bar to get that first activation. But then if you're using Summer Illnot with... Like a Huang Long support summon. You could just call that the next turn. And then use her S2, and then this. Although saying that, this is... I just realized as well, this... This means this is going to activate the turn. So that means she's going to Ogi, and then the rest of your team is only going to get double strike for the rest of that turn. Okay, and... Um, I don't know. This is this is beyond the scope of this video. I'm not... I'm trying to... to figure stuff out in my head about how she will work. I'm sure they will... People will figure out setups for... For Summer Vikawa, I am sure of that. I am sure that DJ Salt is rolling for her as we speak. I'm sure within... By the time I wake up after going to bed, he will have rolled her and figured out some crazy setup with her, so... <laughs> yeah, uh, so yeah, she's... Like I said, she seems she's... Her kit is all over the place, but not necessarily in a bad way. She just has a lot of different aspects to her kit. Like, she's she has this Soul Ray Moksha thing. She has Shades of Nehan. Yeah, like, she's a weird character, but she has, yeah, she has this counter counter hit thing, which is does a bunch of hits on count, on, on counter. She does, she increases your, your allies' ogies, like, she has a lot going on. <laughs> So yeah, I'm not sure what to make of them. I don't think either of them are bad. Like Vakala in particular seems very, very good with the right setup, and Vajra seems very good if you're 
using like an ogi setup in dark, which is not, if I remember right, is not the main thing that dark is doing at the moment. But hey, we'll see. We'll, we'll see how it shakes up in future. But uh, until next time, thanks for watching and like and subscribe and do all that YouTube stuff that YouTube wants you to do. And until next time, cheerio.